All right. All right, all right. Doing another video, I guess. Weird. It's been weird, man. Weird couple days. I think I should just stream. Should I just stream? It don't matter. I don't give a fucking shit. Hmm. I was thinking about doing some dead ma um dead mouse art, electronic guy, electronic producer guy, but I don't know. Like I could. Kind of wanted to do some hard service shit because sculpting can be really. Kind of got to figure out what you're gonna do, man. Whenever it comes to scenes, it's like it's all about the like you know it's everything combined the materials. It's really about the objects, like how many objects you have because every object you put in your scene is going to add to it. And when you put more and more objects, that's what I've noticed. The more objects you put in your scene. The more objects you put in your scene, the more sort of detailed it is. I think I might actually try to do something a little bit different. I almost think I wanna might wanna go down to three. Two or one. I think I'm gonna make something really weird. I'm gonna put a bunch of sculpts together. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really weird that is gonna be a final piece, but it's gonna be sort of different. I don't really have to have eyes in different parts. I was kind of inspired by this totem pole. I actually wouldn't mind making a totem pole out of wood in real life. That would be Carving one out of wood, real wood, you know. I th I just feel it. I just feel it. I just feel it, man. I feel the spirit, the spirit, spirituality coming off of that. I feel it, man. Once once you start sculpting, like it's religion, like it's a religion. That's when you know. And that's kind of the thing about it too is it is kind of spiritual, man. Like it can be kind of in connect like connection with that. It might sound kind of corny because people are just like, oh yeah, I just want to make money, dude. I don't give a fuck. Like <laughs> I don't <coughs> I fucking sneeze, I fucking spit out my gum. But you know, people are like, oh, fucking religion's a fairy tale, spirituality, all that shit. Magic, all that. It's not real, but everyone has culture, man. Everyone has something they can tap into if they want to. Because really, the culture is nowadays sort of, it can be, you know, it can be a lot of different things depending on who the fuck you're talking about what area you're in, what music you like, 
But people go through phases too, so they might like one th uh, something one minute, and they might always like it their whole life, but they might like a lot of different things. So it's sort of, but you know, like businessmen, businessmen. That's sort of the, you know, the, the capitalistic culture where you're a businessman. You know, that is, it's, it's weird because it's not really associated with spirituality or culture, but it's, it is a form of spirituality and culture sort of centered around money because money is a culture. You know, that's something that's always been in our blood. That's, that's, you know, I think part of it's just being okay with yourself, no matter your situation, part of what culture is. I don't know. Weird. I feel like I'm using this crease too much. Um... I have kind of been abusing this creep. I think I can change it so I don't have to multiple stroke it. You have to change the curve to fall off or what? what, what? Sharp maybe? I think it's a little bit faster. strength kind of the strength kind of increases but this is culture right here you know this is culture special but that's what i'm saying is i'm kind of connecting to some, i'm connecting to like kind of a spiritual kind of thing it's not like i'm just making something you know or i'm just making you know i think that's that's kind of the thing that when it comes to being an artist and being a professional too, is you can connect when you're more able to do what you want. You can connect to your reality more. Connect to the things that are inside of you that you want to connect with or the things that excite you or get you hyped. Because you know, sometimes it's like those scenes, movies, when you watch them. And they have them. You have an associated memory with them. They give you that, but it's it can be like a spiritual thing. Can be. <clears throat> Why well, I feel like like this. This is it's kind of tribal. It's kind of cartoonish, kind of Candyland type, a little bit. Kind of wild, where the wild things are, I guess. Really good, though. I feel like every day that I sculpt consistently is another day that sort of... This is going to be a... Maybe not a totem pole, but it's supposed to come together. Turn way. Just start sculpting faces and... You have to start sculpting the faces and feeling the mesh. I like sculpting just faces. I was saying that in a pre. I like doing just faces. You know, you, like I made this stroke, and I'm like, you just start making strokes, and they'll they'll tell you where you're going with it. You no, know, sculpting from imagination. They tell you where you're going. I think that my resolution might be a little bit. That's kind of the problem. Because if you look at it, it's kind of a little bit choppy. That can kind of be an issue. But. I don't know. I 
like going and commenting on people's fucking videos, man. Trying to have the fucking funniest comment. Kind of random, but. Or try, trying to get a get a comment with a bunch of likes like I'm gambling or something like. The competitive comments. Fun. I think I'm, I think my love for doing this has grown a little bit because I've done it a lot, but I've been stressed out before about it, but now I almost feel like I'm using it as an escape. I kind of want to make things smile more. I think that I need to work on my expressions. Like, if I put some more expressions on these, that would give them more character. Because, you know, like, this guy's happy. You know? It gave him that much more. I think that's... A, I mean, I, I kind of like to ignore expressions a little bit because I'm just trying to get something done. Sometimes. I'm not really trying to... But your expression is in body language and the facial sort of, you know, smiley. The way the eyes are shaped can give you mad or sad or... And, you know, a person's face... Your face can tell things about you. This is why some people... Like, your face can tell, can be more masculine or be more feminine. And some, and you know, you can have, people in general can have really, you know, what you call an attractive face. Or what, what some people would say is an ugly face. Or what some people would say is this kind of face. And then some people just have that unique face. And then, but you know, when it comes down to it, it's like, well... You just, your face is saying something to the world. Like you, and your body structure too. And it, uh, you know, whenever you think, oh, that person's ugly or whatever. I think maybe I can, if I can get this to just do that in one stroke, that would be nice. Because, see, I'm, I'm not having, having to go over it, like, several times. But, um, if I, see, it puts an indent. Maybe that isn't as, maybe I can use it. Don't go over it twice. Just going with the flow, man. But. But yeah. Faces, man. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. All right, moving on. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I should have some music in the background, huh? Can't use copyright music, man. I buy own music I can use. I don't want to listen to it. 
Fucking produce music, you fucking listen to it too much, man. You know what? I'm going. I'm gonna go do a duck here. Kind of wanted to do. And it has his cheekbones there. Hmm. Fucking Carpenter Brute. Carpenter Brett, whatever it's called. Crazy synthwave shit. I feel like maybe this is, would be really boring for some. That's why people do time lapses. In fact, I might make this into a time lapse. I don't know. This is the point where you would want to look at a reference because I'm, I'm going for something, but I think I can, I can manage it. That point. I think it is flat though, but you have to get it right. Do 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 do. I like a fucking duck with teeth. No. What do I feel like? Duck. Fucking teeth. That's off. Why is that off? Why is it off? It's off. Is it off? I think maybe the shading. Maybe it is off. Hmm. That's okay. I don't I don't know. It's not off. Speed sculpting. I think that you do need to have some control and some focus, so. Gosh, come on now. Jesus. Well, I mean, you do have to take your time, a little bit of time. Okay, those are. <laughs> these are popped out way too much. Can't really probably need a different angle on it. Hmm. Wow, I popped that out way too much. Oh, come on.
I think his, his some of these features are disrupting the way he looks a little bit. But it's all good. Supposed to be unique anyways. All right. I don't know if it matters the backside. That wing duck. All right. That guy. Hmm. All right. That's the fleet so far. Man, I think I just had a fucking yesterday. I was making a bunch of fucking videos, just talk, talk sculpt videos, and now today I'm just fucking silent. I don't have much to say. I guess I said everything. Just chilling, man. Why well, I may make this a time lapse, but I think I might do time lapse. Um, yeah. So no one might even hear this audio. I guess I could upload both. I don't know. Does it really matter? It does matter. It does matter. There's. There's. I need I want I want to be able to do things like this mustache scared because you kind of limit yourself to not branching out like that like putting object like parts of the mesh Taking them off of it, like putting them off of it or whatever. Bring it up a little bit. Huh. I don't know. I don't know about this guy. Then again, I didn't know about any of them. I'm learning about the characters. He's learning about the characters. Look at him, bonding, bonding with his creativity. He's bonding, he's bonding. It's a spiritual experience. Such a beautiful thing to see a man bond with the mesh. 
Thank you, man. From the bottom of my heart. Meshy. Meshy boy. Meshy, meshy. 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 Just go with the flow, yo. Oh. Mo. No, oh, no. Don't say dirty little word. I like what the fucking. I like what this mustache is doing, man. You know? Look at the rest of him. He's all. Okay, well, that's not breaking it apart like it should be. What's going on? What's going on with that, man? Oh. Huh. There we go. Got it, got it, got it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched that Rango movie with Johnny Depp, and it's, or you know, kind of old. I can't remember. I think it's like 2009 or something. I don't. I can't really remember. It's, you know, it's kind of one of those, kind of a kids animation or or high high adult people watch it, you know, something. Anyways, um, so I'm watching it and I'm. Just blown away from what they were able to accomplish as far as and they probably they probably had a lot of rendering with it um I was gonna give this guy a tongue too like a, a tongue stick sticking out they probably had so much rendering that they did with that they probably had a render. Yeah, they had to have had a render. I'm not sure what what made it because DreamWorks, like all the major productions, they have to have render farms. Pretty sure. I just don't know. I just can't see them uh, doing it without a render farm. You know, there's just no way. I mean, you know that they do. That's part of the. That's part of what makes them uh, be able to do so much. They have a render farm, but they have people that know what they're doing, you know. So they have a they have a script. It's all it's all organized. And when they fucking make the animation, they know what they're gonna do. And I kind of went against. That's kind of the problem. Like, like, that can kind of be the problem with abstract things is there's not really a story there's not really it's not really any it can get kind of you know, so art can get kind of uh, I don't know land I don't know it's kind of it gets kind of complicated because it's like when you're abstract, when you're making abstract stuff, when it's not really like, there's no story or anything, you know, it's sort of, I just, I know, needs something up on his head. I might, I might try, I might try a hairstyle, actually. I usually don't do hair on these. But I do need to practice. So you can give him some hair. Simple hair. It's Morty. Morty hair. Huh. But no, uh, render farms. If I could board another computer, I would buy one. Like if I could have 
a bunch of computers, I would. And then I would just make them anim. I'd make like really like high octane animations and then just render it out on that computer. This is what I was thinking. This is this is my philosophy. Okay, so they they have they have options. They have options. You know, render farms online. Which I was actually thinking about taking advantage of those. Um I don't really like the fact, you know, my computer being used by another person. I don't know. Of course, if you were rich enough, you could just set up a bunch of computers to render shit for people online, which would be fucking awesome. I, I almost think that there should be a, uh, a charity for that. Because not every artist is able to... Not every artist is able to like make the best stuff and they are limited and sometimes that is what makes the difference is the quality of the render um when you know you're rendering with cycles cuz EV is good EV is cool you can render good stuff with EV you know but to an extent you know cycles is just going to have better it's just going to be better. It's going to be pre it's going to be preferable as far as professional profession, you know, being professional. I got to use the bathroom. I think there should be a charity. I believe in it. I think there should be something where instead of donating your time, like from your computer, you take in donations, but it would have to be organized. Because it can take a lot of money to pay a person to run a website and stuff to make it worth it for them. But if they believe in it, then they might do it in their, you know, free time. But I mean, it's like Blender being free. And the ironic part was I had a shitty laptop until I got a better computer, this computer. But that it was kind of a miracle that my laptop was even able to run Blender. But I think it should be a charity. I think there should be a charity. It it's a site. But see that's what I'm saying. It, it kind of it almost doesn't work. <laughs> Cause if you have these sites and they have paid, um th there's just so many people that would use it that I think you would be waiting too long for it. Unless you had like a massive like you had a I don't even know how you would do that you would need to build something that's I don't know that's so weird to think about because you know these operating systems these operating systems that, that you know we can get we have a lot of options but it's like when you think about it can you build something that's see that gets into beyond my understanding because then it gets into fucking what how a computer functions you know modern technology what you know because i think well can't you just build like you know i have a small cpu but with mon more money can't you just build a big cpu and render all these images and that's just stupid that just doesn't make sense but no, I was thinking, you know, if you had a render farm, you had a, if you had a fucking huge, probably like, I'm talking like, you know, a thousand computers, and it's a charity for people to render their stuff online. Just 
Just pure charity. Running off donations. You know? Which, I mean, people probably need more. Like, if you really think about charities, some charities are kind of dumb or something. Like, I'm pretty sure the world needs a lot. There's a lot other like other things that the world needs you know like the world needs a lot more than rendering fucking uh, computer images that's more of a individual gain because it's benefiting individual artists which there's nothing wrong with thinking positive for the artist community and stuff or you know people that might not be able to render stuff or you know it's 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 a cool thing to think positive that way but if you really think about charity there's if you really think about charity it's uh Yeah, there's a lot of other things that people need that it almost seems like if you were to say if you were to say that if you were to like be like, "Oh, I want to start a charity for a render farm for people, you know, where people can come and just render their stuff online." It's like it's almost just like it wouldn't work that great. Because you'd have too much, too many people. And then, you know, they have these render farms where you can, they charge you. I don't really think it's worth it. They're kind of limited. So, you know, if you get, so if you get, so the better you are, the, the more opportunities you got, the more people, you know, like bigger studios will want you. And you'll be able to use their rendering stuff, but you're gonna have to play by their rules. But you might be able to get sort of like exclusive access to some of that, to like their render farm. I'm pretty sure they have render farms. I'm pretty sure they have render farms, you know? So, I mean, I mean, what are they supposed to do? Just open up their render farms to the community or something? I mean there's a lot of people i know there's a lot of people that would that would use that would use that service if it, especially if it was free because there's a lot of people as it is on the sites where it's like you render other people's images will render yours <sighs> i don't know everything about them either but just thinking about it it's kind of Kind of sucks, but Eevee has given people a lot more options, which is cool. I really, I think it's time. I think it's kind of the time we live in. You know, it's like when it's like when motor vehicles or you know cars first came out, and you hear about how they. They, like only rich people had them until you know I think Henry Ford is like he made uh, you know the cars available to people like he was trying to make one that everyone like the average guy could buy so then you know the redu industrial revolution and the way that he organ you know built the cars in the assembly line this is what I was reading from the fucking history channel. But according to that, Henry Ford was the guy who pretty much made that happen. But, you know, with computers, it's kind of... I don't know why it's so... Like, it, they're really expensive, you know? Computers can cost as much as a fucking car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, cars can be pretty expensive. Especially if you're going to drop, like, 
you know, you drop 20 grand on a car. I don't know. If I was actually getting paid as a professional artist, I'd probably be like, oh, 20 grand on a car? Serious? I wonder what kind of car I, I'm... I wonder what kind of car I'm going to have. I'm thinking positive. I think that me doing this is cool. Me doing these sculpts is cool. It's awesome. Like, yeah, I'm talented. I can do this from animation, uh, from imagination. It's awesome. But it's like, where are my clientels? You know, where, 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 where can I fit in? Can I fit in? My cat is trying to get a treat, and it's kind of annoying. He's kind. Of, he's like meowing at me. He's meowing at me, man. I think I want to put the eyes up here. It's kind of annoying. I don't know, man. I don't really know. It's cats are hard to control. He's he's smart too, you know. He's different than he was when he was when he was growing or getting. He's like a teenager now. Weird. I believe in um, the squirt ethic, though. But as far as me, yeah, where do I fit? Where does this fit? Where can I fit by doing this? Because you have to think about that. Like, where, it, like, maybe I, I'm the only one that can make them fit. Maybe I'm the only one that can make a story. These. I've I've made uh, these talk before. I was actually thinking about doing 2D mouths on 3D. I actually can't do that. Adobe Anime has a lip syncing feature that's really fucking awesome. Automatically puts all the mouth shapes in so you don't have to sit there and I don't know, man. People, people in people in animation can really exaggerate hand movements. There's head movements. There's different like body language that, like, normally if you're talking to people, they don't really talk like they're so animated. But animation can be such an exa exaggerative art. But when it comes to VFX, it's kind of different. Doing realistic effects. I don't know about this guy. He kind of looks... He kind of looks like there's... Like, sometimes you make something, right? And there's nothing there. Like, there's... It, it's like it's not a real thing. It's not a real character. Like, their eyes kind of just look like they're, you know, looking forward. But if I took this, actually this grab tool, I forgot about this. Kind of, you like, move them around a little bit. My cat really wants a treat. Like, dude, I gave you a fucking, fucking gave you, I already gave you a treat, man. Weird. Like, damn, you really want a treat, man. Holy fuck. He goes crazy for these treats. Weird. Really means a lot to him if he gets a treat. Like, he doesn't have anything else. But I mean, how many treats until you have to cut him off, man?
How many treats? How many treats until it's too many treats? Like, dude. Then you understand what it's like to be a parent. You know? You're not already a fucking parent. This is this is how kids how I was when I was a kid. I always wanted candy. I always wanted things I couldn't have. And then you're in the store crying to your mom. Mom, I want this. No. No. Depends on the kid you are, I guess. I don't know about that mouth shape, though. That's all right. That's all right. I don't think the neck really, really, it's okay. Okay. All right. That's him. Jesus Christ, my cat is crazy. What did I make? Six? Pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. This kind of has some iffy parts. But well, it's fine. <clears throat> Looks good. Maybe this is enough for what I'm trying to do here. Maybe I'll do a totem pole. I know what I could do is I could take them, put them here. Put them here and sort of like I could put another mesh in between them. Maybe I should just leave it like this. How many can I get in one shot? Maybe I'll make another three and then I can have them all in one shot like that. You don't see this shit every day. I know that. Oh, jeez, you probably have. Or maybe like two. Is that. Maybe that's one shot right there. I mean. Probably do one shot. Probably do one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, that's going to be one shot. I don't know if I want to make more. I think I'm going to make more. I think I'm going to end this video, though. So.